Hello, good afternoon to you. Welcome to Business. Now, government has been urged to rethink its economic policies to empower the agri sector. This, according to some researchers, has become necessary to address the work crisis that has hit the country. A research director in development and sociology and also the director of the Institute of the African Studies at the University of Ghana, Professor Joji Chikata, says the economy cannot run solely on self-employment. She spoke to Joy Business at an inaugural lecture on the topic addressing the crisis of work in Ghana. What role for transformative social policy? It is normal for an economy to have both formal and informal sectors. But when the informal sector becomes so large and be grows bigger and bigger, and even formal work becomes informal, then you have a crisis of work because we all know that informal work is not decent work. It does not pay enough and it does not create the conditions for productivity. We need to fashion policies which allow us to make what we call an agrarian transition, to strengthen the agrarian sector, intensify it, and entrench value addition in agriculture so that it can link up with industrialization. And through agro-industrialization, we'll be creating many more jobs so that people can leave smallholder farming and go into agro-industries and be able to create the kind of enterprises which allow them to actually employ other people. Because an economy cannot run solely on self-employment in micro-enterprises. The Association of Ghana Industries, AGI, is to present a comprehensive report to various state institutions and also various ministries on recommendations that will help to move the industrial sector forward. The association says it is yet to form a committee to begin work on the report after the closing ceremony for the three-day industrial summit in an exhibition in Accra. CEO of the AGI, says Chuma Kwabwa, noted inputs will be made available to policymakers to enhance the development agenda. Normally what we do is that we pick out the issues because as you know, in a forum like this, the, the, the number of issues that are discussed and it's, it's, it's cross-cutting. Uh, some of the issues, most of the issues are not tackled by one government institution or ministry. Uh, there are aspects that relate to finance. For example, we had a financial consultant speaking to us. There are aspects that relate to trade and industry directly. There are aspects that relate to... Um, uh, energy so so you need to be able to identify which of the issues uh, is related to a particular uh, government agency so then you discuss with the government agency on the appropriate issues so that's exactly what we do so normally we set up a committee after this to see to the implementation of some of the things of course we are a, a private sector organization we don't implement ourselves especially if there are policy issues but we can influence the development of policies to ensure effective implementation and that we are going to do how soon are we going to see this? Oh, well, in the next couple of, uh, I mean, we are tired this week. So from next week, we'll start putting the report together and then put the committee together. So in the next couple of weeks, you start see action on some of the things that we've discussed. And that's business for now. Have a good afternoon.